Boy, are we thrilled and honored tonight. It has never happened to me before. For the first time in a Dodger broadcasting booth, we have the Stanley Cup. And what a thrill that is. My goodness, look at all the names on there. Soon to hold some of the great names of the 2014 Los Angeles Kings. Because I go way back in hockey. I remember the Rangers when I was a little boy. I used to marvel at their goalie, not Jonathan Quick. It was a Davy Kerr. You'd have to look that up in the old books. But Davy Kerr was the goalkeeper and did not have a helmet, no face mask, nothing. I mean, unreal. So you fellas got smarter as the years went by. But we are so proud of you. We really are. It was such a thrill. First of all, when you beat the Sharks, there are a lot of people who make you do that. Then you knock off the Ducks. Well, now you really have the town. Then the Blackhawks. And finally, my old team, although I don't follow much anymore, the New York Rangers. So, heartiest congratulations. We were as thrilled as everybody in the ballpark the other night when the announcement came out that you won. And the great parade. And what we wondered about, you went to the Blade. Everybody's clean shaven now after all those beards we saw all, all uh, summer long. So heartiest congratulations. Thanks for going to the trouble of bringing this beauty up here in the booth. Meanwhile, the bunt goes foul, and that'll do it for Granky. So again, heartiest congratulations. Thank you, fellas, to everybody in the organization. Beautiful. Is it true you were making margaritas in that thing on television? Maybe last night. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm sure you've washed off all the salt now. Good. Wow. You should be so proud, and rightfully so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One dummy, one statue. <laughs> Thanks, fellas, so much. Greg Gibson, the home plate umpire, motioning to both players. And the Dodgers celebrating in their dugout. That's into the right field corner. Robinson. Well, I am a wizard from the future. Boom. I'm a real doctor. If you had your walk-up music created, who would compose it and or sing it, and what kind of music would it be? Uh, you know what? That's a good question.